I'm Anna Murray, a librarian at Westerville Public Library, and I have some great books to share with you today. One of my recent favorites is Amina's Voice. This is a great school story. Amina is just starting middle school, and she has a lot of things going on in her life. As she is a shy person in general, though she loves to sing, and she really wants to try out for a solo in her school choir, but her stage fright keeps her from doing so. At the same time, her best friend, Soo Jin, is about to become a U.S. citizen. Soo Jin's an immigrant from South Korea. And Soo Jin is determined when she goes through the nat naturalization process to change her name to something more American. And Amina's really confused about that. She loves that her name and Soo Jin's names are names that substitute teachers can never pronounce. She loves that their names represent their cultures and make them unique. So she's a little confused by Su Jin's actions. At the same time, Su Jin is befriending a girl named Emily that was never that close to them or even that friendly to them in elementary school. And Amina doesn't know why Su Jin suddenly wants more friends. At the same time, Su Jin's mom is forcing her to participate in a Quran reading ceremony at her mosque. And Amina is not sure how she feels about that. You know, she knows. Her stage fright is pretty bad, so she does not want to perform in front of people, but she does like participating in other things at her mosque. And at the same time, Amina's uncle is visiting, and he has much more strict religious beliefs than uh, some of Amina's family members, and he doesn't think Amina should be singing at all, and singing is one of her favorite things to do. So a lot of different things happening in this story. This is Amina's voice. Check it out.